Hi, my name is Jamie Cummings, and you're about to get a special inside look at floaters. Josh Fields, I started last week. New guy. If you need anything, feel free to ask. I'm just down the hall. To the left. And then down that hall. It's through the cubicles, and then you get to the freight elevator. And then it's next to the janitor's closet. Anytime. <sighs> this poor advertising agency, you know, had its... It, it peaked in the 80s, and it's just gone downhill since then, and as you can tell by Pippa. Where is the rest of the food? The client will be here, and there's only one tray. I'll go check. Be back in a jiffy. You look really nice today, Pippa. So it was a lot of fun to just find, you know, the, the explorations through what she was wearing that day. Like, can you imagine, like, her opening, is there today a I'm going to be a geisha. You know what I mean? Like, who pump. does that? But she did. You know, she had to have gotten so up two hours before work hours. to put some of that stuff together. Pump. Half the time, it's hard for me to keep a straight face when some of the characters enter my cubicle, especially Pippa, who just looks like she fell on a pile of accessories. True, your problems might benefit from a slightly more ladylike style of dress. I have always been blessed with an innate sense of propriety in apparel. She doesn't know who she is, and she doesn't know who she's going to run into and how they want her to be. So she, if she makes these big, bold choices, she's liable to hit somebody and resonate. You know, so every day it was like, well, the geisha didn't work, so today I'm going to be punk. And that didn't work, and so today I'm going to be, you know, really goth. And it was like she had no through line as far as what she wore, except that it was zany and over the top. And I think that she was always trying to, to be something for someone. And instead of like knowing that she's enough, and I mean, that's a lesson in life for anybody. Uh, but I think that her eccentricities, you know, she had to have loved that. You know, the idea of dress up and like, I don't like who I am, so today I'm going to be you know, a punk rocker, or today I'm going to put my glasses on and people are going to think that I'm smarter than I really am, you know. I mean, I think it was calculated, but at the same time, just kind of like, well, this totally matches. Don't you think this totally matches? And she never matched. The moments that exemplify Pippa have got to be her just walking around. Like, I'm not sure she actually does any work, but she thinks she's doing a whole lot of work and is probably the glue that holds effortless together. Yet she spends all of her time sort of rattling her accessories in the corner and like basically eavesdropping on everyone. I sure will tell her as soon as I see her. Thanks and have a great day. Besides, who's going to believe you? Nobody likes a troublemaker. I'm sorry, Edmund, but a wood nymph will always outsmart a halfling in a battle of spell. Hard at work, are we, Roland? I am on my lunch break. Ericat, the luscious. Yeah, nobody does any work at <laughs> Effortless, which is true. So true. Temps don't do much work. Um, but these girls especially really do not do any work. They, they kind of run the office the way they have the run of the office, the way that they want to. But you never actually see them doing anything, which is funny. I guess maybe that's why it's named Effortless. Because people don't put any effort into anything they do there. Um, yeah, I mean, what if we did? I mean, how boring would that be, watching people, like, word processing? You know, it's more fun to, to see what we do in our, in our downtime to avoid work. I totally do work at Effortless. I work at Effortless. I don't know what episode you've been watching. Erica? <laughs> you know, Megan, I think, is the girl that's on MySpace all day, all day. She's looking through the tabloids. She's reading page six. She's what, pulling things up on YouTube. <laughs> I love you, Jon Stewart. Oh, I love you too, Stephen Colbert. Yeah, I am actually pretty busy right now, so. Hey, is that Sudoku? Sweet. Dakota Fanning was spotted at the Blue Suede Shoes wedding chapel with Haley Joel Osment. What are you talking about? And Robert Blake started a gift balloon business? 
I don't think anyone works but Loretta, maybe, <laughs> when she's not spraying her plants and petting her cat pictures. But I think everyone <laughs> spends a lot of time running their own sort of pseudo-personal empires of looking at their headshots. Oh God, my headshots are in. Already? Oh God, I can't look. Oh look, look, you have to look. Oh, send them to me and I'll look. Acting requires the exact same discipline and work ethic as our professional lives, our jobs. I mean, not our jobs, but wait, hold on. Effortless Leonard Cohen's office. I mean, Leonard Kling. I think I'm probably the only one who blatantly doesn't work and has no problem flipping the pages of my magazine when there's work going on around me, which is perfectly fine. They can do it all they want. Just leave me alone. No, I think Frank's new collection for Tiffany's is fabulous. And if you can own a piece of that, can I call you right back? Hi. Do you need me? Yes, Daniel, 15,000. Yes, I'm sure of that pharmaceutical company. Let's just say I have good intuition and leave it at that. What can I do for you this morning, Pippa? Nothing, nothing. Anyway, if you don't like him, there are plenty of other psychiatrists. Now my espresso is getting cold. OK, um, well, thanks a lot. And um, you know, if you think of any other psychiatrists, um, just in case. Getting colder. Do you need something? Andy is sort of the ultimate role model for Megan in terms of where she is in her life right now. She's confident and independent, she's stylish, she takes advantage of New York City, um, you know, has this great social life, and is making a living in this relatively non-traditional way. Um, just making, making things work for herself and, uh, you know, doing it with grace. Andy's cool because she's that subtle confidence, like she doesn't need to get hysterical, she doesn't flip out, she doesn't move to jump, she doesn't jump up to answer the phone or anything like that, but she doesn't have that panic that people have. Like, she could care less if there's food in the conference room, <laughs> it's fine. The fact that she drinks in the office when she's excited, um, I think she just is not spastic. It sort of makes her cool. Pippa. Andy. The floaters has mastered the awkward moments, definitely. And I think everyone has those moments in their real life of just standing in someone's cubicle a little too long, standing near the copier, thinking you need to make coffee to make the situation perfect when you just need to leave. Like, you don't need to check the paper clips. You don't need to talk about some boring party you went to. Just go. I mean, yeah. I guess I'll go. Um, I gotta check on my, I gotta check on my, um, Paper clips. Oh, you can keep it. I've already got that one. Me too. This office gets crazy. I Googled you last night. What? Did you really play field hockey at Princeton? Because uh, I can't uh, picture you. Uh, what? 
running across the field with a stick. Yeah. It's not important. I actually just had to staple this. Doesn't Marcy have a stapler? I didn't look. <laughs> okay, G gotta run. Filing. Stapling. I think she's pretty much, um, like nothing rattles Andy, which I think is very funny. She has the same level of like, I'm here, this is what I do, and which is really nothing but read magazines <laughs> and sort of tell other people what they should be doing with their life. And I just love, she's completely even keel. I think Effortless could be on fire and she would literally pick up her W, get her iPod, put her coat on, she wouldn't rescue anyone in the office, and she would slowly walk out because Andy probably doesn't run for anything. <laughs> Maybe Megan, I think. And potentially Megan then would beg for Erica <laughs> and Nisha. So then, yes. And then Andy would probably end up rescuing everyone, and that's slowly like, okay. This is what you need to do. Hop off the fire escape, you know, put, put the dragons down. Pippa, leave the accessories, let's go. So I think in the end, she would probably rescue everyone. But then she would know the firefighters and everybody outside. <laughs>